hey everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can parse any xml file or response in power automate so to explain this concept i would be taking help of one of the api which would be giving me the result into the xml format so this rather api.com so it's a i actually used a free key or subscription of this site which gives me a xml file which where like I would be getting all the weather conditions details for example I am having this location as London and the current condition under that current con condition if I just go I could see like the text is clear the weather is clear so I am going to read out this no text value uh, in our power automate and save that I mean save or use that in going forward in power automate so this is the intent of this video I will be showing two methods to extract this value. One is using XPath expressions directly like calling going to that particular node and extracting the value. Other would be I would be using the parse JSON and parse JSON would actually uh, capture the XML input and pass that into the dynamic objects. So I'll show you both the methods and it's on you like which method uh, you find easier or right way to do this. So let's see. So I am just going to my make.powerautomate.com and would create one instant cloud flow and trigger I would just choose as manual because we are going to create or call uh, our custom connector from this so before doing that I'll just again open this data because I have created one custom connector so if I just open that into Power Automate, I'll show you what my custom connector has. So this is a weather connector XML. So this is my custom connector. I'll just show you the definition of it. If I just go to the definition, you would able to see that I am calling this API weather API.com and which is actually consuming two of the parameters that key, key would be the subscription key. So this is my free subscription key for this. And the other one is Q, Q is a city name from where like you wish to extract the weather or get the weather information and the aqi is no like by default we are passing that as no as well, itself so nothing to worry about so if you are not familiar how to create custom connector so i'll just uh, paste one of my video where i have explained the step-by-step -step process of creating any custom connector and why we are uh, creating this connector because we are going to call this service this api to get the xml response and this xml response we are going to parse into our flow so this is the intent so let's go back to our flow and let's again like create that instant cloud flow and create so in the next step i'll just directly call my this custom connector method that is get weather xml so this action would actually give me the response into xml and this xml would be this kind of so i am going to just pass the my free subscription key and the q value that is city information so i can just pass that as london and in aqi i can pass simply as no so i am going to save it now we'll just do a test run just to get the xml response let's do that quickly so our custom connector method ran successfully and we got the body xml as a response so now we are going to work with this body where we are getting xml so we are going to use xpath first method as I said so for using xpath we will be using compose action where we are going to work with the expression so I can just click on this box and go to expression if I just start typing xpath it will give me a function name and which takes the parameter as xml and the xpath this xpath is the string uh, so I'll show you like how you actually write xpath so there are two ways of writing any xpath I'll just open my notepad where I have already written the ways. So you could see like I have written a simple name uh, node value form which is root current condition text and extract the text out of it. So this is nothing but simple like uh, because my this form XML is just a 
formatted XML. So it's root, location, current, and condition text. So this will give me the node value of this text. And the other way is you can use the local namespaces. So this would be actually when your uh, node value is having spaces and you wish to have a, I mean, exact root uh, node name comparison with a local namespace function. So th in that case, like uh, you can use this uh, namespace format to uh, as an XPath expression. So these are two. So though like is going to give the same uh, output for you. I can just copy it and paste into my expression. So first of all, I need to first convert my output of my body, which we got from the previous tab into XML so that the exp expression can be given. And now afterwards, like you can, you have to paste the XPath expression, which we just saw. So it's taking root, current, local name, condition, and tax. So you can extract based on the condition as well. For example, so if your current node is equal to some specific value, then you can do those conditions check as well in expressions. So you can uh, take a detailed look uh, with the XPath expressions, how to compare, how to do conditioning. So that's a, uh, a detailed XPath uh, W3 school tutorials are always there. You can just refer it to for complex XPath expressions. So I'm just clicking on OK and I'll just save it and we'll just run it for once just to check that whether we are able to extract that condition text or not. So we'll just run it for once. So in compose, I am getting that text output as clear and my API is also giving that text as clear. So we are good. So we are able to use the XPath expression to extract one node value. All right. So in next step, as I told you that we are going to see two ways to interpret our XML. So there's a, there's a one way like where you have to define the XPath expression and then read the XML. The other way would be we are going to just work with the parse JSON or JSON. So why I'm saying like uh, JSON could be one method because it actually does most of the things for us. It gives uh, give us like uh, the dynamic content out of that uh, XML. So let's let's first of all I use again one compose action so that we would able to read that or convert the XML into JSON. So we'll just go to expression and in expression I'm going to use function which is JSON. I'll just type JSON. So it takes value and again like I have to convert the dynamic content which we are getting from body response of get weather API call and this would convert our XML into JSON. So if I just save it and run it for once just to see like what JSON we are getting. So I'll just run it. and I'll directly go to the compose tool. So now you can see like the entire XML is being interpreted or represented into JSON format. So I'll just copy it because we are going to use this sample JSON while creating or parsing the JSON. So I'll again edit my flow and now I'll use parse JSON operation and this, in this part json i'll just use the content content would be again like my this uh, which we are getting from the response so i'll use if if we have already used this is the compose output of compose 2 so i'll just use output of compose 2 and i'll generate from sample i'll just paste whatever we copied from our previous run so there's a sample JSON, which the it should be uh, interpreting or parsing JSON. So I'll just save it and we'll just run it again. And we are expecting that we should get dynamic objects now.
to directly work in the subsequent steps of upper flow so i just directly go to the past station and now you could see so these are the objects which we got and if i just add it it and do let's say i'll just uh, uh, do some condition let's say i use condition and this in this condition i have just clicked on the add dynamic content now you have seen like i got this on uh, entire xml nodes as a json dynamic objects so i can simply pick the object the text because we are intended to extract the value of this so i can just directly pick the text object let's say it is equal to clear let's say it's clear then i should be doing some next operation something like that and if it's the the condition is not clear or partially clouded then some something some other step should be executed so this is a simple one is just like for your information that we got dynamic content objects we can directly work rather than like uh, thinking about xpath expression complex xpath expressions you can directly like pass json pass that xml into json and then work with the json object so that's a much easier way to do in my in my point of view so i'll just run it we'll just see like what we are getting so we can directly now go to parse json which passed our xml and now you can see like uh, the expression is resulted into true because our text value the dynamic object which we were comparing must be clear that value must be clear so in this fashion you can get all the past xml objects in this dynamic content objects you can directly work on rather than like uh, thinking or building other complex xpath expressions so probably you might have uh, got the uh, intent of this video that we can parse xml using xpath directly by xpath expressions or by using by converting the xml into json and then parsing the json ultimately so that's it for today and if you have any further questions please do drop your comments and if you like the video please do like the video that's it for today thank you